Well, were we about to see uh, the Hound versus what was his name? Baron Don Selmick. That's definitely not his name. It's something like that, though. Beric Don Derek. There it is. There it is. You know, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't like Beric's odds in this. I feel like the Hound's just a different... Never mind. The Hound is going to lose. <laughs> oh my god. That doesn't seem fair. Oh, at least he's not backing down. Oh my god, he's scared out of his mind though. Yo, Hot Pie should have came to see this. This is some wild stuff right here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, they're bro they're going at it. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Shucky ducky. Oh my god, this is so intense. What a start to the episode. Come on, come on. I kinda want the hound to win. I don't know. I kinda like the hound. Come on, how ooh. Oh, oh, he's done it. Ooh. Yo, your shield's on fire, dude. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. Wow, 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 wow. Yo, Arya's gonna kill the hound? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> what? Yo, blessed be the Lord of Light. That man is the one true God. What? John, man. Don't hesitate, don't hesitate. You can't look weak. Ah. By the sea. Yo, the wildlings are crazy, but at this point, I don't see how they uh, lose to the Night's Watch after everything they're going through right now. Give it back. <laughs> well, I stole it. It's mine. Who wants it? Come steal it back. <laughs> they have crazy chemistry. That's That's wild. I wonder if they were together at this point in real life, because I know they ended up getting married and stuff. Time you proved yourself. Oh, bow wow. Some vows. They're about to get nasty in a cave. Yo, is John going to break his vows, dude? Oh, you have to, man. You can't. Oh, he's breaking his vows. Oh. Is he? No, he is. He is. So if John goes back to the Night's Watch now, is he gonna tell them that, or is he? If is he even gonna go back to the Night's Watch because they're gonna get absolutely decimated by the Wild Wings? I'm glad these two are having fun though. You know, with everything going on in uh, Westeros and stuff like that beyond the wall, I'm glad they're having some fun. I'll shove those arrows up your <laughs> Yeah, he's not guilty in the eyes of the God, the Lord of Light. How is this man alive? Can someone tell me that? I don't, I don't really understand that. Why would he bring him to Roose Bolton? Send it to his father. You'll hold your tongue unless you want to lose it. What? I wait, wait, wait. Why wouldn't he bring him to Rob? Maybe he's a bannerman of Roose. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I'm just really confused, guys. Like, why would he bring him to Roos Bolton? Like, I feel like that, like, someone like Jamie would bring him straight to Rob Stark. Not to mention, why is he, like, treating him so nice? Like, it's, it's a Kingslayer. I'll scream loudly. 
Oh, why would you want to do that, man? Okay. Fair enough. That's what you got to do. Oh, are they going to show? Ooh, are they going to show it? This is going to be nasty. Yo, he's a freak. Did you see his eyes? Oh, oh my God. He was getting off to that. Oh, yeah, she talks her stuff, man. She has my full respect. Is that sufficient? Quite sufficient. Thank you. Very good, then. That's settled. Good day. Oh, my God. She commands any room she's in. I don't even know what to say about every time she's in, a, like, a scene, she just commands the whole scene. He may be their leader, but they chose him. Yeah, that's hey, good for you, man. Man, whoo, the whole trio's broken up now, man. Arya, Gendry, and Hot Pie are not together anymore. Yo, are, the, are these the Lannisters? Is this a rescue? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, that's the worst thing that could have happened. Oh my god, dude. Why not murder your grace? Vengeance. No, Vengeance. you're a piece of crap, dude. Those boys, they were these kids. They were boys! <sighs> Look at them. Oh my god, dude. Mother to Car Stark, you're a, a fucking piece of crap. It's treason to free it is treason. What? <sighs> you kill your enemies. The That's not your enemy. It's a boy. fucking kid. Leave him. I, I, I didn't kill anyone. I only watched for the guards. This one was only the watcher. Hang him last so he can watch the others die. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if that's the right call, but like... It is, though, isn't it? Oh, my God, dude. Rob. Spare his life. Keep him as a hostage. Oh, my God. Oh. What is going on with this northern army? Get it together! Lock in! Oh, my God, dude. Yo, what's about to happen here? Oh no, Rob's gonna kill him. We are King Stark and Car Stark. That didn't stop you from betraying me. Rob, what are you doing? How are you gonna win if all the Car Starks leave as well? You lost the phrase and the Car Starks? You are no king of mine. He had to do it. He had to... Am I, am I delusional? Maybe... I think he had to do it, but, like, it just sucks that he had to. Did he have to? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't envy his decisions. Every time I come back, I'm a bit less. Ooh, what does that mean? Pieces of you get chipped away. Lady Melisandre. I know, Stannis. When... Rut row, rut row, crazy eyes, crazy eyes. Oh, what are we looking at? Yo, what kind of freak show is going on? Sir Davos is a traitor. No, he's not. He's rotting in a dungeon cell for his crew. He's not a traitor. You're just confused, man. Best forget him. Yeah, that's you show up, break her heart, and then leave. That's the Stannis Baratheon method of parenting, right there. Kingslayer, oathbreaker, man without honor. I do be calling him the Kingslayer. <laughs> it's such a catchy name, though. So he had his pyromancy. All over the city. Leave the sap to fail, and 
Did listen to Grand Maester Pycelle, the great sunken cunt. You can trust the Lannisters, he said. Damn. Pycelle's always been a snake. He told me to bring him my father's head. Oh, Jesus. Then he turned to his pyromancer. Burn them all. That's what he told Robert Baratheon, too. Burn them all. That's crazy. Commanded you to kill your own father. And stand by while thousands of men, women, and children burned alive. Would uh, you have done it? Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait a minute. Jamie. And when the king turned to I drove my sword into his back. Oh my god. I don't think he expected to die. He... So he saved everybody in the city. He slit his throat to make sure that didn't happen. That's where that Stark found me. He saved them all. Damn, I don't even doubt that, too, knowing Ned. But what Jamie, what? The King's Lair! <sighs> Jamie. My name's Jamie. Wow. Oh, my God. That's heartbreaking. And, like, ooh. Jamie, 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 Jamie. Now I feel bad for calling him the Kingslayer the whole time. Damn, that's crazy. He really saved them all. And everyone looks at him with disgust and like distrust. Oh my God. I couldn't imagine. The Karstarks are gone. Of course they were right. Tywin Lannister knows what he needs to do to make us unravel. Nothing. Exactly, man. That's what I'm telling you. Lock in. Get it together, Rob. Lead. What is it? Oh, he's planning. He's scheming. I can't force them to meet us in the field. And Castle Rock can't run away. Castle Rock? I'm going to take their home away from them. man whose daughter I was supposed to marry. Old Frey. How are you going to get his men back? How is that possible? No way he would ever do that. His daughter was supposed to be a queen. Like why the why would he ever do that? Stop that. You're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> your sister has learned that your new friends the Tyrells are plotting to marry Sansa Stark to Sir Loras. Oh my god, Baelish, are you serious? Baelish, you're a f The Karstarks have marched home. The young wolf has lost half his army. His days are numbered. Make Sansa Stark the heir to Winterfell. Mm, that that's not true. Over, we need to act first and kill this union in its crypt. Oh my god, Baelish, you're a piece of rat. I don't even know what that means, but you're a piece of a rat. Cersei, why? Okay. Cersei. Oh, wait. Sansa and Tyrion? I can't mean it. I can, and I do. Joffrey. The girl's happiness is not my concern, nor should it be yours. She's a child. She's... You will wed her, bed her, and put a child in her. Oh, my you God. I refuse. You wanted to be rewarded for your valor in battle. I want to see Tywin and uh, Tyrion just get into a little fist fight just to see what happens. As will you. Oh, what's she doing? What do you mean? 
You marry Sir Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, you will. I gone. Tyrion will secure the north. You will secure the reach. No, I won't do it. Yes, you will. So, do it. We're still Cersei, don't even question it. I am Queen Regent, not some brood man. You're my daughter. You will do as I command, and you will marry Loras Tyrell. There we go. Tywin, put her in her place. My children. Look at them. They're bouting and talking. For far too long. <laughs> oh my God, Tywin. Yo, he just put both of his kids in their place. Wow, 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 wow. Let's go to the recap. All right, everyone, let's just start in King's Landing. In King's Landing, uh, not too much happened in the beginning, per se. Uh, mainly, it was just, you know, Cersei and Baelish kind of like talking, scheming, trying to figure out what the Tyrells are up to. And then we found out that Lady Olena is going to pay for half of the royal wedding, which is kind of nuts. The Tyrells are filthy, 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 filthy rich. Look how much gold they have right here. This is how much gold they have. They're filthy rich. It's disgusting. But the more important thing is that Baelish, 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 found out about Sansa and uh, Loras possibly getting married. And so when he found that out, he went straight to Cersei. Cersei went straight to Tywin. And Tywin basically was like, hey, Tyrion, you're going to marry Sansa. And he made this face right here. And then we found out Cersei was going to have to marry Loras. And she made this face right here. Oh, my God. It was great. Tywin then stood up and made this face. I don't need to put, put, I don't need to put it on the green screen. I could do it perfectly. And anyway, guys, it was amazing. I, I've never seen Cersei and Tyrion put in their place at this. I like Tyrion, but he got put in his place when he was trying to say no to that. Tywin is a very, very, very determined man. And he's not even going to let his children's happiness stand in the way of what he wants. And what he wants is his family's legacy. Now, let's talk about Rob Stark. Oh, Rob. So, the, basically, the main story here is they're in River Run, and the two Lannister boys who were prisoners uh, were murdered. Bl brutally. Brutally murdered by the Karstarks. And then Rob found out, obviously, he was very upset. Anyone in their right mind would be. But, should he have killed what was it, Richard Karstark? Rich, Rick Karstark? I don't know. I do not envy his position because either you kill him and you lose half the men, you keep him hostage, but, like, I don't think that's good for morale either because look at how everything's been going. They've all been bickering and bickering and bickering and fighting and fighting and bickering and fighting and bickering, and that's all that's going on. And Rob needs to get his crap together and run this army lead but the other option was he could have just said you know what all's forgiven which would have made him look weak as hell and then all all no hold barred would have gone on in the camp because if car stark isn't getting punished for this nothing's going to get punished so rob kills him and loses about half of his army but Supposedly, he has some grand wizard plan to figure... Like, he's going to find out how to do this. Uh, he's going to find out how to get the phrase back into his army. I don't know how. That man has to be using some sort of wizardry and magic to do this. Because I don't understand how he could even possibly do this. It just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, let's move on to Jon Snow. Jon Snow... Uh, basically what's happening with him is, uh, he broke his vows. I couldn't believe it. I honestly did not think he would do that. I was going back and forth in the scene, but I did not think he would break his vows because I do think he's eventually going to go back to the Night's Watch. But with him breaking his vows, I don't know now, especially with the Night's Watch being like in a whole civil war type thing right now. It's, it's a very scary situation. Because I don't think the Night's Watch can defend against the Wildlings. Because the Wildling army is massive. They have giants. And the Night's Watch is fighting like themselves. So I just don't see how that happens. But 
regardless, he breaks his vows. Him and Egret, they go, sorry, they go in the cave and they have a good time, <laughs> to put it lightly. Um, not much else to tell there, you know. Egret kind of saved him from, you know, accusations of him being a crow. Then they, they plowed. But now we're moving on to, uh, I guess, Daenerys. Not much really happened with her. She kind of chose, uh, or she didn't choose, but she found out, like, the leader for the Unsullied. And then we got uh, conversations between Sir Barristan and uh, Jorah. And they were talking about back in the old days and wanting to serve, like, a good leader. And they both think it's Daenerys. And, uh, yeah, they were just kind of going back and forth a little bit. A little bit of tension there at the end, but I don't think it's anything serious. You know, they'll get their stuff together, and they're just going to keep oiling up that machine and keep on moving. And then we had Arya and the Brotherhood of, uh, Brotherhood with no banners. And that man came back to life six times. How do you do it? I don't know. Uh, the Lord of Light, blessed be his name or something, I don't know, uh, he brings him back for some reason because everyone like the way he said it when he was brought back from the uh when the hound killed him he was like the lord of light has a plan for you yet so i'm wondering if it's kind of like something like that where he's still supposed to be alive because he has something to do but anyway guys that's really going to be it for today guys you know let me know what you thought about this reaction make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you enjoyed peace out